All right. So in this series, um, in this chapter, we're going to be dealing with simultaneous equations using the substitution method. So what is this? So anytime you're giving two equations um, and they're asked, hey, solve for x and y, there are different methods you could use. One of the methods is substitution. Substitution pretty much means if you have an opportunity to equate two parts of the equation that are the same, do so. What do I mean? If you look at number 10 here, you have y equal to 7x minus 24. And then you have y equal to minus 3x plus 6, 16. Notice that you have y equal to two different things. So that means you can go ahead and just make those two things equal to each other. So I'm going to say 7x minus 24 equal to minus 3x plus 16. If you take a look at this, the reason I can do this is because this left side is equal to y. This left side is also equal to y. So when the same thing, the same y is equal to two different things, make the two different things equal to each other because each, both of them, each of them is a y and so they can equal each other. That's why we call it substitution method. You substitute um, equal things to each other, into each other. All right, so this is where we are. Um, at this point, obviously, we want to bring like terms together. So you have the 7x here, you have minus 3x here. So in this case, I'm going to move the because usually I want my x's to be on the left. And also when you think about 7x and minus 3x, always move the smaller value. So minus 3x is smaller than 7x is. So I'm going to move that. The opposite of minus 3x is plus 3x. So I'm going to do plus 3x on both sides. So over here it goes away. Here this becomes 10x, 10x. This is still minus 24. That just comes down. This 16 just comes down. So what we want now is we want this 10x um, solved out specifically the x solved out so i need to get rid of this minus 24 the opposite of minus 24 is plus 24 so i add that on both sides so this goes away 16 plus 24 is going to be 40 if you add that up yes uh it's going to be 40 there and so this is 10 x here so what do i do next i divide by 10 on both sides so that goes away, so x is equal to 4. So as you can see, we just solve for x as 4. Now, the moment you find x as 4, finding the y is not that difficult because all you have to do now is just plug this 4 into any one of these equations. So I'm probably going to plug it into that first one there. I'm going to plug it into this first one, which is the y equal to 7. But instead of writing x, my x is 4. I just found that out. I put that in there minus 24. Well, we know that 7 times 4 is 28, minus 24, subtract that, that's 4. So your y is also 4. So we just solve for the x and y using the substitution method, just substituting two equal parts. If I come here to number 12, um, I see a similar situation where if I look at this top equation, this bottom equation, I like the fact that you've already told me that y is 6x plus 21. Well, just take that y information and plug it in this other y. So what you're doing is you're saying since y is 6x plus 21, plug it into the top equation that has a y. So if I look at that top equation, I'm going to start by saying negative x plus 3. But instead of plugging in, instead of saying y here, I know y has a value. y has the value of what? 6x plus 21. So instead of saying 3y, I say 3 times what y is. y is, in the second part, is 6x plus 21. And all of this is equal to 12. All right, so let's finish this out. This is going to be um, uh, minus x there plus 3 times 6 um, is 18x. And then 3 times 21, there is 3 with a 6, so 63. And that's 12. Okay. Now, um, if you combine minus x plus 18, you're going to get 17x there. And uh, so this is what you have. Um, but then that's combining these two plus 63 equal to 12. Now, as you can look at this, you obviously want to get rid of the 63. And to get rid of 63, be minus 63 on both sides. Yeah. Do that. This goes away. So you're going to get 12 minus 63 there. All right. So 12 minus 63, that's going to be a minus. Uh, if you're subtracting that, that's a 1, that's going to be a 51, okay? So that's going to be 51 there, uh, minus 51, and this is to 7x, okay? Now, um, you want the x, so to get the x by itself, you have to divide 17 on both sides. So x is equal to, so you see how many times is 17 going 51? Notice that there's a 1 here. So this question is, what can I multiply by 7? I'll produce a 1, most likely a 3. If you have to multiply 3 by this, 
3 by 17 will give you 51. So 17 goes in 51 three times, so it's negative 3. So I just found my x to be negative 3. So guess what? To find my y, which is the other part, because you're looking for x and y, I'm just going to plug this negative 3 into this second equation because it gives me a clean something equal to y. So I'm going to say y equal to 6. Instead of writing x here, I just found my x is minus 3, so I put minus 3 there plus 21. So this is going to be negative 18 plus 21. Now, it's like you owe money and you have money. You owe $18 and you have 21. If you kind of find the difference, you're still going to have, because you have more than you owe, positive or negative. Uh, 21 minus that is uh, 3. So that's plus 3. So the x is minus 3. The y is plus 3. So that's how you do those two tough questions. So if you look at this 14, I hope you're kind of seeing the pattern I'm following here. If you look at this 14, this second part, this y equal to minus, is a really good one. I can just take this and plug it in here for this y because I know that y is minus 6x plus 2. So I plug it into this top equation. So if I take a look at this, I'm going to start it off all the way on the side here. So 6x minus 4. But instead of writing y, yes, I plug in what? I plug in uh, minus 6x plus 2. All of this is equal to negative 8. Okay, so if you look at this, this is 6x. If you do this, you're going to say minus 4 times all of that is going to be plus 24x there. And then minus 4 plus 2 is negative 8, equal to negative 8 there. All right, so if you add 6x plus 24, you're going to get uh, 30. 30x minus x equal to negative 8. Now, obviously, we want the uh, x by itself, so we need to get rid of this 8. So you add 8 on both sides. So when you do that, this goes away, this goes away. Notice you get a zero here, you get a zero here, and this is still 30x plus zero equals zero. So essentially it's 30x equal to zero. So if you divide by 30 on both sides, x is just going to equal to zero. Because 30 times what would give you zero? 30 times zero will give you zero. So x is zero. So we just found the x to be zero. So what you do now is to find the y part, just plug it into the second one, because the second one already has y equal to something so it's easy already so i'm going to say y equal to minus six i plug in my x as zero over there plus two the reason i know this x is zero is because we just found it that's what we found over here so let's process this minus six times zero is zero plus two so that's y and then y is equal to two so this is how you do this uh set of questions here using substitution methods so it's one of the methods you need when you have two equations and you're trying to solve for the x value so this is how you do this